Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kits Design Team layout. So I am starting this layout with this gorgeous Cocoa Vanilla Studios rainbow paper and I actually spent a quite a bit of time stitching over almost like the false stitched marks in the um in the rainbow or the I guess you could say like the doodly sketches inside the rainbow. I hand stitched over those using a variety of stitches, some satin stitch, some cross stitch, some back stitch, some French knots, just over the existing lines. I stitched those ends using um, co like matching colored thread. And I absolutely love the way it looks. It's really difficult to tell from this angle because the original paper has got like, um, those kind of like doodly lines marked inside the rainbow but when you look at the close-up photos at the end of the video hopefully you can see all that beautiful stitching that I have put on there and I've got two photos of my boys um, at Mother's Day so the first photo on the left is me and my little one at his kindergarten Mother's Day celebration and the one on the right is of my two boys at the big ones Mother's Day celebration at school so I just think it's so precious that the schools acknowledge all the days it's not just Mother's Day they acknowledge Father's Day and all those kind of days as well I just think it's super cool and I just love these two photos of me and the boys so I am working with those on this super cute rainbow and I'm doing a little bit of uh, tone on tone color matching for the embellishments that I'm working with here popping them up on foam I've got some beautiful purple and blue flowers that I am putting next to that amazing tag which again is in those blue tones I just think it looks really sweet to kind of color match with the embellishments I think it works really nicely with the layout of the rainbow you absolutely could use um, different colors and you don't have to match tone on tone but I just thought it looked really sweet with this design so I popped the photos up on um, foam so I've also popped up all the embellishments on foam and that blue flower I popped up on double foam so it's twice as high just to give that even extra piece of dimension I really want to get this little fun dark blue tag somewhere in this layout I'm having a little bit of trouble of choosing a spot but in the end I am going to go with next to the amazing tag and above the flowers and just pop it in there i think it looks really cute uh, and i just like that so now, now though i've got the added problem of figuring out where this leaf is going to go but i eventually get there i have of course used those same um, page evans thickers that came in one of our past kits i just think these colors match perfectly with this collection and i cannot help myself i am super lazy sometimes when it comes to titles and these phrases just make life so much easier and the one with best friends went really well with that word my and if you watched my video from last week you'll know i used the word story um, from an old pink fresh studios collection and it was my story and it was the last sentiment I had in that pink fresh studios thick as sheet and so I used the word story and just popped the my in with this one and just coincidentally I had not planned this at the time but using my best friends works amazingly so I am so excited that I actually finished that entire set of thickers all in just these two layouts so that is so cool so now, as you will notice, I'm actually matching or complementing the blue and purple side of embellishments with this beautiful pink side of embellishments over on the other layout. And it's just matching in beautifully. They're all really similar, that same kind of build of ephemera there. And I do want to get this super cute sparkly butterfly, sequin butterfly on, but I just can't figure out where. In the end, I decide here... <clears throat> I'm not to be honest I'm not sold that the butterfly is in the right place up there it just puts all the ephemera in one big straight line instead of in a cluster but I was a little bit stuck because of how close to the edge of the page we were getting so I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to roll with it if I was going to do it again I possibly would have put it at the end of the yay um, flag and above the bottom of the photo but we're rolling with it the way it is then I have pulled out these super cute uh, bow bunny little enamel dots that also came in a past kit and I am tone on tone matching those as well. So I'm putting the blue ones on the blue art 
arcs of the rainbow and the pink ones on the pink arcs of the rainbow and then I have decided that I cannot help myself and I need some tiny word stickers so I'm just gonna pick two and I'm actually gonna put those on top of those little pennants or badges or I don't know what we call them but the amazing and the best ones I'm just gonna pop those up on foam and pop those on there as well and it kind of reads all in one like sentence I, well, I tried to make it read all in one sentence so it all makes sense and I'm really happy with how that looks I think that is super cute and I'm gonna say this layout is just about done at this stage of course you know me I cannot complete a layout without some splatters so I will pull, pull out my golden splatters and shake 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 those little beauties onto my clusters and then after I have splattered on a little bit of gold or just around those clusters there I don't want to go too crazy and send the splatters too far across the page where they don't belong but after I've sent on those beautiful splatters in gold I'm also going to pull out some white ones I thought white would go really really well with the sort of white space that's still left around the rainbow and just add in a little bit of white um, splattering there and you can see this is the final layout and I'm super happy with the way it came together and if you look really closely at the photos you can see all of that hand stitching as well in every single arc of the rainbow there is that little bit of hand stitching and yes it was time consuming but it was oh totally worth it I just love everything about this layout and I'm super happy with how it came together thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time bye